I'm Zach Luna, and I'd like to welcome you to this edition of Between Two Ferns. I'm here with Michaela Damis. How Actually, it's Michaela Cariel. Please address me correctly. M Michaela Cariel Damis. And uh, I'm kind of scared, but before we start, I need to protect myself a little bit. Some kids say you can be kind of violent, so I just, it's kind of safety precautions. I don't. Um, it's a good look for you. Thanks. Um, don't hurt me, please. Uh, maybe you can help me with some problems I've been having with the ladies. <laughs> I uh, hear you have a lot of those. I do. I do. See, it's, it's hard to be a dime, you know? It's like you walk around and people just, they want to see you, like, with your shirt off. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know how to cope with it. But uh, what's the difference between a lover and a girlfriend? I, I've been very confused and I just, what, what classifies a lover and what classifies a girlfriend? Um, I think a lover is just someone that doesn't like to fight. They prefer just to like hug trees and things like that. Mm. And then a girlfriend is a friend and it's a female. Okay. But I, so I didn't seem, some girl asked if I wanted to be her lover and I didn't have to hug a tree. So, I mean. What did you say to the girl? I, I didn't know her. I ran away. Now, here's, I guess, the basis of the question. Is the girl real or is it imaginary? She's real. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I looked at some of your social media posts and noticed, noticed that there was a lack of followers. So I am just assuming that the majority of the people you interact with are imaginary. Oh. Is that a good assumption? What does it mean when a girl says after she breaks up with you that she still wants to be friends? She's lying to you. She really wants nothing to do with you. It's just the nice thing to say. <laughs> do you like bubble wrap? I love bubble wrap. Do you want to touch one? <laughs> no, I'm okay over here in my own personal <laughs> space. I can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. The basketball team says you're a very intense person in everyday life and in the weight room and on the soccer field, I would like to know where that intensity comes from. Deep, deep within. How deep? Deep. Mariana's Trench range? The what? deepest trench in the ocean. Come on, you teach, you're a teacher, you gotta know these things. I'm not a human encyclopedia. Okay, okay. Um. We need to cut to a commercial break. This is where your ice cream comes from. Oh. The creamy poop of a mystic unicorn. Totally clean, totally cool, and soft serve straight from a sphincter. Mmm, they're good at pooping. Introducing the Squatty Potty. No, Squatty Potty is not a joke. And yes, it will give you the best poop of your life, guaranteed. Mm. I don't just mean you bloated lords and hemorrhoidal ladies. I mean everyone. So order your Squatty Potty today. I'm not saying it will make your poop as soft as this cookies and cream, but I'm not saying it won't. Squatty Potty, the stool for better stool. That's a cool little shindig there. I can't, I can't imagine though going like this, like, ugh. like God. Especially in those skinny jeans, I'm surprised they didn't rip. Yeah, I know. I got a huge butt, but I don't know. It's just, explodes out of my pants the butt so much butt but anyways would you consider yourself to be more of a hunter or a gatherer hunter hunter why i like to stalk my prey um okay what do you what do you, what do you mean by stalk your prey stalk my prey. Do you, okay. Do you have any tactics you use when hunting? Being invisible. Okay. What's your favorite sporting event to watch on TV? Because I know you're an athlete, so. Definitely not you playing baseball or basketball. <laughs> um, but seriously, what, what, uh, what do you like to watch with you and the hubby? I like curling. Curling? Yeah, I'm a big fan of curling. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hard. They're heavy, the things. 
They are, and the ice is slick and cold. It, that makes sense. Um, it's called science. Um, yeah, my favorite sport to watch is the Olympics. It's just so fun and exciting. And it's great how the athletes can play for their country and do all of that. And I know you had a shot, but you were cut right before they started. I was. I was cut right before I started. Yeah. Um, do you know why? Oh. Okay. I couldn't fit onto the team. Okay. Um. I got benched, though. You should be used to getting benched, right? Yeah. Isn't that like your MO? Yeah. What does MO mean? More octopus? What, what does it mean? MO? Yeah. I'll let you Google that. I don't ha have Google. You have a school-issued laptop. I lost it. Oh, I hope you put in it in a up. fire. In a fire? Yeah. It's intense. My dog died. It wasn't fun. Rest in peace. Um, yeah. Um, what did it feel like to see your friends on the Olympics when you were at home? It was actually really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was really cool to see them go and be a part of something. Even though you're not with it, you just kind of know your your role on the team. And my role was to sit at home and watch them on TV. Did you have popcorn? No, I don't like popcorn. That sucks. Um, yeah, if you could choose one song to play every time you walked into a room, what would it be? Ooh, anything with Beyonce. Yeah. Ooh. Can you? What's your favorite Beyonce song? I don't. There's two. It used to be all the single ladies, but he put a ring on it, so you know. Oh, thank you for plugging that. And you like that? Yeah. Um, my. He's real, unlike your girlfriend. Okay. Uh, my song would be uh, probably uh, "Bump and Grind." You know, if you walk in, I walk in, and then you all you hear is my mind's telling me no, but my body. My body is telling me yes. See, because that's what everybody thinks. I walk down and they're just like, oh, my God, like eye candy, you know? Do you, do you have a horse? No. Oh. Okay. Um, you do have a dog, though, right? I do. What's his name? Augusta, and we call him Gus. Isn't that, isn't that just a fancy word for August? No, it's actually the name of a golf course, but close. Oh. It was really close. What, what, how is it a big dog or a small dog? He's a small little nugget. He's like 30 pounds. A little ratty? Radish looking? Um, he's my child. <laughs> Back off, my friend. Okay. Uh, what does it feel like to be married to somebody without a soul? Because he's a ginger. Oh. My ginger is really cute. And he has a soul. You sure? Yeah, pretty sure. Is he a curly-haired ginger or a straight-haired ginger? He's a no-hair ginger. He's bald. He is bald. Oh my God, Jesus, please don't. Um, we can't all be gifted with your okay um, beautiful locks atop your head. Um, was he's a bald ginger? He's a bald ginger. No hair. No hair from here up. He has eyebrows, and he can grow a beard. The, okay. Do you? What's your whale knowledge like? Do you know whales? Uh, it's very limited. I don't okay. have a lot of whale knowledge. Could whale? you drop some on me? Whale? I don't know. Um, have you ever seen SeaWorld when they do the cute little whale shows, and they go up, and they, like, twirl, and the people go around? I think. Could you show me a trick? No. What's your favorite sport out of all the ones you've played? Soccer. Soccer? Yeah. What position do you play? Uh, I played defense when I played in the States. Defense. So you weren't good enough to score? Or? I, I don't prefer to look at it as not good enough, just um, too spaz-like. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. Where did you play college soccer at NIU, right? Northern Illinois. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. What, is, what do you do in Illinois for fun? We lived in a cornfield, so not much. Not much? No. I... Is that where you met, met, met the ginger in the middle of the cornfield? No, I met the ginger on the bobsled team. Ooh. Yes. What, what position is he on the bobsled? He's a brakeman, so he's the one that pushes. Oh. So there's a driver and then one that pushes. Is there, you know how tennis players grunt when they swing? Like it's like, ah! You know what I'm saying? 
Like, no, could you run that by me one more yeah, time? Yeah, so Serena Williams hits the ball. Oh! Oh, yeah, you know yeah okay. I'm, I'm with do, you. Yeah, yeah, I know do what you're Bob saying. Do bobsledders grunt when they push? Like, Some of them do. Lolo Jones grunts. Who's that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Lolo Jones does, and it, she sounds like a hyena. A mix between a hyena and a kettle boiling. Can you make that sound? No, I, I honestly don't think my vocal box goes that high, but I will give it a try. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, no. Okay. I got nothing. Can I try? Yeah. Wait. Go ahead. It's... Close, but what you want to do is you make it, want to make them like short, succinct, like, kink, 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 kink. Oh. but like with that noise. Okay. Uh, do you like Harry Potter? I love Harry Potter. What do you think of Dobby? Does that like? Oh, I like Dobby. You like Dobby? I like Dobby a lot. He's so cute. Like I, I don't cry much because you don't. No, I don't. A good cry every once in a while is just what it's the nice. doctor ordered. It's really yeah. nice. But when Dobby died, the emotions poured out of me. I couldn't handle myself. I think we need a moment. Yeah. Um, the, his last lines were just so vocal in my mind. It was just so beautiful. Like, I don't remember his last line. Do you want me to do it? I love that. Okay. Mm. Dobby has no master. Dobby is a free elf. And Dobby has come to save Harry Potter and his friends. 